Let's head to the southwest and to Houston, Texas. It's the largest city in the Lone Star State and home to the Johnson Space Center. Every day at Johnson, scientists are hard at work on the next move of the country's space exploration. But on the football field at Houston Sci Fair High School, there's one object that lifts off every Friday night. Houston defenders, we have a problem. His name is Sam McGuffey, a 5'10", 195-pound dynamite runner who is already a legend thanks to his play during his junior season. At Sci Fair, this is called the jump, a ridiculous piece of running that still has people talking in the Lone Star State. I remember I was, I, I was blocking the linebacker, and all of a sudden, I just hear all, all the noise just stops in the crowd. The crowd just stops. And then I, I look to the left and I see Sam in the air jumping, like his foot on top of the guy's helmet. Everybody's used to seeing the same old thing, run past him or juke him or spin or something like that. But you know, you don't see too many people just jump over him. I went to some camps and everybody's heard of him. Like the, the play is like amazing and it's once in a lifetime. And we're lucky to have him on our team. He's given us like publicity. In Houston, everyone was a buzz about the jump. But the only people who weren't surprised were members of the McGuffey family. Ever since he was a small boy in Brennan, Texas, Sam was made to leap. He walked at like seven months and he was kicking the ball in the backyard. And he had a bouncy bounce thing that, you know, you hook him into and it hooks, hooks up to your ceiling and he would jump and jump and jump and jump till no end. When the McGuffeys caught a five-year-old Sam doing flips in the backyard, they immediately enrolled him in gymnastics. From his first competitive leap, Sam was a natural. They let me come right in and just, you know, mess around with him a little bit. And, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but, you know, the first day I'm like doing backflips and all this other stuff. And I'm real little and everybody's like, you never done gymnastics before? I'm like, no, I just watch TV. A few years later, the McGuffey clan moved to the big city of Houston. And when Sam joined a youth football team, those gymnastics lessons paid off. He's been always athletic like that. Uh, through the years, I mean, off football, he'd be jumping over mailboxes and cars and trucks and all kinds of stuff, flipping, and because that's all that gymnastics he was doing, but he never got that out of his blood. I had a friend that lived down the street, and he was talking about football. You know, he's like, I'm the quarterback, I'm the linebacker, and all this stuff. So I was just like, he's like, play with me. I'm like, all right, what do, we, what do I do in football? What is that? Like, what do I do? And he's like, this is the ball. I mean, that's practically how it went. Um, I didn't know anything about it, really. And then I just I went to a practice one day. First, it was a scrimmage, really, the first first day or whatever. And you know, I ended up having, like, four touchdowns in, like, two seconds. He was in the sixth grade. When I saw him, I knew that he was something special. I'd seen him I'd, uh, play out here in the yard, and uh, I knew that he had quickness, and he also had speed combined the two of them and made him pretty effective. I drove three hours to see his first freshman game, which was in Victoria Memorial. And I wasn't, you know, totally surprised, but kind of surprised. He got five touchdowns and 350 yards as a freshman, the first game. And I, through watching his moves and, all, and all, everything he did out there and juking everybody and making moves on everybody, it just, everybody was like stunned out there and stuff. And I just knew it right there. By the time Sam was on the Cy Fair varsity, everyone in the Houston area knew that he would be a force. That was proven when he was a junior, when he rushed for a city record 3,121 yards and was named the Houston Offensive Player of the Year. Overall athleticism, I guess, is his main attribute. I mean, he, he can do some things that, you know, you, you don't work out here on the field. You don't, he, he just has them. And another thing, I think his vision has progressed throughout from his from his freshman year till now. He, he does a great job of setting things up and then, and then seeing things and accelerating through. Sam is a very intense individual, both on and off the field. However, his friends try to loosen him up at the local fast food burger joints, and his family tries to keep him grounded at home. As the oldest of three children, Sam knows that he is already a role model, so Sam looks to his elders for guidance. Everyone looks at LaDainian Tomlinson because you know, his work, work ethic and his stature, not, not his physical stature, but his stature, you know, inside, his, you know, his mentality, um, you know, he's just an all-around great person. You know, I want to kind of be like him, not only 
you know, physically, but, you know, mentally. Of course, that doesn't mean the McGuffeys aren't his biggest fan. When he's at home, he's not like that, but he, when he hits the field, he's like, zoom. But next year, they'll have to travel north to watch Sam play. The nation's top-ranked running back decided to end his recruitment early. He will wear the maize and blue at the University of Michigan. He text messaged me, and he said, Mom, I, I can't be happy until you're behind me. And I am behind him. I want the best for him, but I want to be able to be around, you know. I really love him, and I, I really, really care for him. And I just, I want him to be the best he can be. I take pride in Sam doing what he does. I mean, I'm glad to see him succeed in football or whatever. And I know it's because he worked hard. And if I work hard, I know I can do the exact same thing. Hopefully go to U of M. I wanted to go to Michigan, not only for, you know, because I know people, but because I have an opportunity to, you know, come in, be an impact player, and you know, never look back. On the bright side, Sam already has experience playing in front of big crowds. Cy Fair plays at Berry Center Stadium, one of the biggest and most expensive high school stadiums in the country. The opportunity to, to play in a place like that, you know, my in my high school years, you know, it just blows me away because, you know, how many kids play on 12,000 seat stadiums and you got TVs and the locker rooms and, you know, every single game is always sold out on our side. So, you know, kind of when you, you walk out, you're like, am I in college already? From a small town gymnastics star in Texas to a big time running back in the Big Ten, it's a giant leap for most teenagers to make. But Sam McGuffey knows all about big jumps.